One of your goals with this website was to decrease the amount of time you spent posting various data to different audiences. We've achieved this goal by implementing AutoChimp, which is a plugin to WordPress. AutoChimp allows us to set a series of parameters for each blog that will direct your blog posts to go automatically to specific audiences. Once you post your blog, an e-blast will also be created in MailChimp using email templates that have been pre-created for you and going to list segments that have been predefined. This allows you to maximize your reach every time you write. When you write a blog, people who have a desire to visit your blog can see the blog at the blog site. People who have subscribed to your blog through an RSS feed will get your blog in their RSS reader. You can link your blog through social networking sites such as Facebook or LinkedIn with a share. And now in addition to that, your blog will be emailed to people who would rather have you package information and send it to their email inbox. We'll go through each of these options for you step by step. Let's begin by reviewing your list construction in MailChimp because how your lists are organized is a very important part of how AutoChimp works. So we're at your main MailChimp dashboard. We're going to go up here to the lists segment and you'll see you have four main lists. One is a test list, then you have a client list, a fellow CPAs list, and a money for college list. Let's take a look at the segments or groups within each list. So I've gone to the toolbar next to the money for college list and I want to view groups. There are 15 groups in the getting money for college list. If we view the groups, we can see that these are the groups within your list and how many members are in each group. If we go back to your main dashboard or main list dashboard and look at your client list and say view groups, we'll see that we have two groups which would be your business clients and your clients. So this is the list organization that has been created for you in MailChimp. The next important feature to understand is that your MailChimp lists will be connected not only to specific blogs but to categories within those blogs. So let's take a look at how your categories look in one of your blog sites. Let's go to My Sites, Network Admin, Sites, and let's go look at the Money for College blog. So we're going to go to the dashboard for Money for College. Within the Money for College blog, down under Settings, there's a submenu, and at the bottom of that submenu is AutoChimp. We'll go back to that in a moment. First, we want to take a look at what categories you have set for your blog. So we look at the Posts menu, then we go down to Categories, and Enter. So these are the categories that you can already attach to blog posts. Imagine for a moment that you wanted to add a category called um, uh, college counselors or um, guidance counselors. So we would add that category name here and it's not a subcategory, it's a top category. You could put a description here but you don't have to. And then hit add new category. And now we have a category called guidance counselors. Now let's take a look at your settings in AutoChimp so you can understand how the relationship between your blogs and your eBlast has been created. Again, we're going to go down to the settings menu, into the sub menu, all the way to the bottom where it says AutoChimp. Remember, if you look at the very top of the dashboard, we are in the Getting Money for College blog. So the first thing we selected was a mailing list for the AutoChimp update. And we're saying that any e or blog posts going out of the Getting Money for College blog should go to the Money for College list. 
and this set of four lists is a match to the four lists that you have in MailChimp. So that's the first setting is that we chose the main list for this particular blog. Below that are a series of standard settings. Take a look at them at your own timetable. Um, we don't recommend changing them unless you discuss it with us first. Now let's go to campaigns. All of your e-blasts will be managed as campaigns. To create a mail campaign from a post, AutoChimp looks at a category and it says this category should go to this mailing list, Money for College, and then any particular interest group. In this case we said any. So any of the people, of the 900 some people in your Money for College list would get email if a blog post had the category college on it. In fact, in these settings right now, we have all of your categories that are in your WordPress blog environment going to the Money for College list and any interest group within that list, which is the groups in MailChimp. If we go back here and look at your Money for College list and then view groups, these are the 15 groups within your Money for College list. Now let's look down here. Under Guidance Counselors, it was set at none. It, if, uh, since we added that category just now, that category has not been identified as a category that we would send e-blasts to. So here we can say we want the Guidance Counselors campaigns to go to the Money for College list but we only want it to go to the Guidance Department Westchester, for instance, group. So you can narrowly define who on your email lists will get a blog post by using this control panel. And that's how you attach an AutoChimp mailing list out of MailChimp to a category in WordPress. So what are these e-blasts going to look like? Well, we've pre-created for you some templates in MailChimp. So now we're back on your MailChimp dashboard. We're going to down, go down to My Templates, which is just below Create Campaign. And again, select My Templates from the Template Options. And you will see we have three templates here for you. One for business valuation, one for general financial advice, and one for getting money for college. So let's just take a look at the Getting Money for College template. In this template we have your lead-in piece of information that will either land as a subject line or as the first line of text depending on the email system that your um, email list members use. The option to view the email in the browser. A way to follow you on Facebook or on Twitter. We did create a Twitter account for you or forward to a friend, some basic bio information, and then this block of content. Each time you write a blog post that's targeted to this template, this area right here will fill in with the actual blog content. Now this campaign is designed for one blog at a time, not multi-blogs. So you wouldn't have an e-blast that had three or four different articles in it. We can develop those over time if you prefer. Then at the bottom, these spaces won't be here. They're just areas we could have added graphics if had we chosen to. Your contact information, again, some of your social media, and then all the necessary footer information to remain within CAN-SPAM guidelines. So that's an example of one template. We can open it in the pop-up preview and you get a better idea of how it looks when it's all assembled. So now let's go back into your AutoChimp settings in WordPress and you can see over here we have a user template. We would select the Getting Money for College user template for each of these categories.
As you add categories to your WordPress blog, you may want to identify if they go to a particular list and any particular group within that list, and then which template you want that post to go to. Now remember, the categories, lists, interest groups, and templates differ from blog to blog and from list to list. So if we go back up to My Sites, Network Admin, Sites, and go into your Business Valuation blog, we're entering the dashboard now, First, let's look at the categories that are set up for business evaluation. You'll see that there are fewer of them. We simply have business evaluation and succession planning. Now, if we go into the auto chimp settings for the business valuation blog, while that's loading, Oh, there we go. You'll see that the mailing list we selected for business evaluation was both clients and fellow CPAs. You can change those list settings if you wish. Then under campaigns, the mailing list indications here all went to clients, but that could change. You could say, no, this one's really for fellow CPAs. We recommend that you go in and review all of these settings to make sure you're happy with the selections that were made. So if something has the category, any blog in your business valuation blog environment, any post has a category of business valuation, it would go to your client's mailing list to the business client's interest group. And we would select the user template of business valuation. Likewise, we selected that succession planning campaigns would go to clients, business clients, using business valuation. And right now let's set uncategorized posts back to none. So that's how we connect user templates to categories that are linked to lists and interest groups in MailChimp to make it possible to launch every blog post you write as an email campaign. So now let's write a sample blog and have it launch as an email campaign. First, let's go into the site that we're going to do this blog from. So we go to My Sites, Network Admin, Sites. Because this is a test and I don't want anyone else to really see it, we're going to go into the core blog, into the dashboard. Now the first thing we want to do is check our AutoChimp settings. So we go to AutoChimp. The mailing list that we would like to update is test. That should only include one or two email addresses. Then we go to campaigns. All the categories that are in your other blogs are in this main blog. So we want to go down to uncategorized. We want everything else to be set to none. And in this particular case, we want an uncategorized campaign to go to the test list using the Getting Money for College template. So if this were a formal campaign that you were doing, you may say, I'm going to make sure that I attach Getting Money for College as a category to the blog post I'm about to write, and I want to make sure this will go to all of the Money for College people, or I want it to go to only a subset of that list, and you could pick the group that you wanted it to go to. But in this case, we're just going to send an uncategorized blog post to the test user. Save these options. So now I've verified which category, which mailing list, which interest group, which template. Now I'm going to go into post and add a new post. So here's a test post to show how launching an email campaign with AutoChimp is an easy way to expand your blogging reach. And I come over here 
and I select Uncategorized. Now remember, if this were any other type of blog post, you would make sure you also added tags. You would never select Uncategorized, and you would go through the process of making sure that the SEO was optimized. But it's not. It's just a sample post. Now we're going to publish. And as you can see, if we go into the main blog site, the sample post has appeared here. We'll delete that in a moment. But the other thing you should see is that it has automatically launched a MailChimp campaign. If we go to your MailChimp dashboard and go to campaigns, you will see that this sample post to test WordPress AutoChimp relationship email has gone out. We can view it here. And here's where the content of your blog showed up. And there's the full blog post. And in just a moment, we should be able to show you how it has shown up in an email dashboard. And here it is. Here's the sample email. I'm going to instruct my email system to display the pictures. And that is how your eblasts will look. Obviously, you'll have a lot more content here. And it will stretch to accommodate all the content in that blog, blog post when you auto-launch a campaign from AutoChimp. And now you're ready to blog and e-blast automatically while using WordPress with AutoChimp. Obviously there are a lot of moving parts in this environment, but when you become comfortable with them you'll find it's very easy to minimize time spent and maximize your marketing reach by using these integrated tools.